Hey, good afternoon, guys. I'm getting ready to open up a box um, that I got from Copper State. Um, as you can see, I've already got it cut open. I'm going to go with it, uh, with what I've got coming from them uh, with you guys, can you, so you can see a little bit of the new products and stuff that I'm trying out and that I'm that I'm using. Um, so a little tip for you guys. I actually um, ordered a bunch of stuff that I'm going to use basically in the fall transition in a winter time. Um, the little tip is that if you order ahead of time, normally your tackle shop will have it in stock. If you wait until that bite is good, then they may not have it in stock because everybody else is buying it at the same time. So buy ahead of time, make sure they have it in stock, prepare for whatever your next season is, and that's going to help you make sure that you keep uh, your boxes stocked as well as the tackle shop. Um, all right, so we're going to dive right in. Um, me and my partner, Mike Reynolds, uh, just got back from winning the NBC tournament at Alamo Lake. So some of this stuff is uh, restocking some of the stuff that was lost there. I am going to do a video soon um, going over a recap of all of the baits that we threw at Alamo. Uh, so be look, look for that video coming soon. All right, so here we go. Um, first off, I uh, got some plastics here. Um, got some pit bosses in. Um, it's a great flipping and punching and just an all around good bait. I was actually throwing it um, on a biffle head. Um, really comes through um, the water with a lot of action at a slower speed. Um, but variety of different colors, mostly green pumpkin base. Um, you can't go wrong with green pumpkin in Arizona. Um, any water color, any time of year. So green pumpkin's a big um, staple of mine most of the time. Um, so I got uh, a few different colors and a bunch of, of pit bosses. Um, I'm super glad that they started making this in the power bait scent now. Um, just everybody knows how effective that power bait scent is. Couple packs of seven inch power worms, um, green pumpkin as well. Um, as we're moving and transitioning out of those summer patterns, um, your shad, smaller, um, just your bait fish, um, everything those fish are foraging on in the fall is just a little bit smaller. Um, thus, the seven inch power worm going away from the 10 inch. Not that you can't catch some on the 10 inch, you just don't get as many bites in the fall and winter on those big worms as you do in the summertime. Um, so, getting a couple packs of seven inch just to have on hand um, when I decide to do slow down and do some worming in the winter time and in the late fall. Um, so the next thing I throw a ton of um, year round, but mostly in the fall, winter, early spring is finesse jigs. I got just a pile of Kitex, um, dark and light green pumpkin, Kitex, half ounce. Um, I go with that half ounce because I like to be able to throw it on um, on bait casting tackle and I like I like having the feel of that heavier jig. Um, the other finesse jig that I got or Kitex, um, I got a whole bunch of these Jewel um, Pee Wee football heads in half ounce and in five eighths. Um, the two colors that I got that I've been doing well with that look the best to me um, Although I got I got more colors too, uh, peanut butter and jelly and a couple of the other colors But is the touchdown and the Hail Mary um, brown and green pumpkin bases um, Can't go wrong Got a whole bunch of those get stocked up on these now. I'm telling you When that bite gets good, they're harder and harder to get get stocked up <clears throat> Couple of packs of three out hooks, nothing special there. Just uh, I was low on that size, so I got a couple packs to replenish my stock there. A um, couple more jackhammers. I did catch some fish at Alamo on on those. Um, this is the B height, the light color. I throw half ounce. Um, you can fish it shallow. You can slow it down, fish it a little deeper. It's just I fish half ounce primarily. 
Um, I have a few three eighths, few three quarters, but my my number one I most of the time have tied on is half ounce. Um, all different colors, depending on whether you're going for bluegill uh, pattern, shad pattern. Um, again, just something broke a couple off, got kind of low. Um, restock a couple B-height delights. Um, and again, I throw that chatter bait now all the way through the spawn. Um, it's a great bait. You guys are going to, Monday you're going to see um, me and Seth um, fishing a 2v2 challenge. Uh, for Copper State. Uh, that video is going to drop Monday. Look for that. We catch a pile of fish. It was really fun. Um, next in the box, um, some finesse spinner baits. Again, going with that kind of smaller profile, but power fishing um, still. That <clears throat> SV3 spinner bait um, still has that finesse look, but it's a three quarter. Um, I like that three quarter size. Still has that kind of finesse profile but that heavy size fish a little deeper a little faster um and then biz baits got a couple of those um half ounce sexy shad um this is a new one for me i'm gonna try it out see how i like them um look like super good components and uh looks like a good bait didn't try it out um then we got the new um the new bellows shad from uh, Gee Crack. Um, something, the something the fish haven't seen a bunch of. I played with the bellows gill a little bit. Um, but that's uh, that's going to be something I'm going to flip around. Maybe put on a Carolina rig, Texas rig. And I'll just try it out. Something, something I haven't thrown a lot of, but uh, new to me. And it's, it's going to be fun. I'm a tackle junkie. I love trying new stuff. Uh, love trying new baits. Going to see how that works out. Um, then also from, um, Gee Crack, I got their Stealth 5, um, a couple A-Rigs. Have not thrown these yet, but, uh, they looked interesting. Um, I'm going to try them out. Kind of finesse A-Rig. Um, going to rig those up and, uh, try them out with some smaller, uh, swim baits and see if we can't, uh, get, get on some fish with that. Um, also... Just the um, G Funk, the um, the Desert Rig. Um, I don't know. It's just a it's just a good all around A Rig. Throw that a bunch. Gonna throw those. A um, couple new reels. Uh, the Crotto MGL 150XG high speed has that magnesium spool. Um, you can get a little bit far, farther casting. Um, it's a little bit smoother. Um, it's a good. Um, more budget friendly um, reel that has that little bit higher end feel. Um, and then one of my favorite reels from Shimano is the Bantam. This is the HG. This is that uh, 7 to 1. Um, just an all around good speed. Uh, it's not the slow speed like the 6.3 that I like for cranking. I'm actually going to be putting this on my square bill chatterbait rod. Um, and just a workhorse of a reel it stays smooth it is just it's it's an amazing reel love this reel um they got them in stock down at copper state check them out uh, last but not least um i broke a i broke a, my chatterbait rod at alamo and so I had to replace that um got the new x x uh look at that i got seth's uh little uh, touch on there the tonneau hammer apparently is what my nickname is now so um he put a little bit of uh normally i rip that plastic off but uh, i might have to keep that on there for a minute maybe it'll bring me good luck but uh anyways this is the uh, shimano x pride uh b this is the 7.2 medium heavy glass um it's light it's sensitive um i really like this rod for square bills and chatterbaits um, I like that Japanese style handling on the Shimano um, CI4 Plus. Um, I like these reel seats. Um, I'm not a big guy. I have smaller hands. Um, so when I combine this rod with a reel, it just it uh, I, I can palm it really easily. Um, it fits my smaller hands really well. Um, so some of you guys that uh, out there that uh, like that smaller profile, check that rod out. 
Um, again, they got them in stock right now um, at Copper State. Um, I ordered this stuff midday um, on midday on Tuesday, and I got it like 10 o'clock on Wednesday in Payson. So super fast shipping. Um, the guys down at Copper State, they get those orders in, they get them pulled, they get them out. Um, same day, I mean, they take care of their customers. My rod was packaged exceptionally well. Um, nobody likes getting a rod that's been beat up by one of the shipping companies. Um, it's happened to all of us where we get those rods and, and they're broke and we have to reorder. Um, packaged super well, bubble wrapped in a tube. It's it's protected as well as they can. Um, so grateful for that. Um, super fast shipping. Can't say enough about Copper State right now. They're really trying to do their best to take care of the anglers. Um, and that's why I partnered with them because I truly believe in what they're trying to do for you and myself. Um, so that's it guys. Again, look for more videos to come out soon. Um, got some tournament coverage from that uh, win at Alamo Lake coming out. Um, again, I'm going to do a, a breakdown on my um, rods, reels, line, sizes, lures, the whole nine yards from Alamo. Um, Alamo was um, fishing a little tough. It had a lot of pressure. It's fishing a little tough. We still caught a lot of fish, had a lot of fun, but we're going to go ahead and, and show you. Um, we were fishing out of my partner's boat, so um, I had to actually package my stuff, put it in a tackle box and take it. Um, it's always a little tougher uh, fishing out of somebody else's boat, but we made it happen. Just a little quick sneak peek of all the rods down there um, that I brought back with me. And again, I'll go through all of those with you um, here in our next video. So again, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time.